Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, this is my new build PC from Asus Prime A320M motherboard. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Windows into your new build PC. Okay, so if you do have similar motherboard, you can check those settings would help you. First of all, you should have this sort of bootable USB thumb drive. Okay. If you don't know how to create one, you can check the video link would be in the description. Once you created your bootable Windows drive, what you should do, you just need to connect into any USB port. So once the USB connected, that's all fine. You can check if there is any light flashing. That's when it's connected. And now what you should do if your PC is on, then you need to press and hold the power button to switch it off completely and press the power button again. At the same time, try to keep pressing F2. Once you keep pressing F2, it's going to take you directly to the BIOS screen, which is that one. Now, the Asus always, they bring two sort of illustration for the BIOS. One of them is called EZ mode, which is that one. It does have, you can see the fan profile, CPU fan profile, boot priority options, and some sort of visual graphics in there. And if you press F7, it's going to take you the advanced mode, which is that one. This is called traditional BIOS page, as you can see. So to change the boot option and customize the BIOS, what we should do, we need to get it into advanced mode. That would really help us to find all the options easily. All right. So first of all, what are you going to do? We're going to check into the advanced option if there is any settings left over okay all right so from here i can see the most important settings is legacy usb support which is enabled remember if you'd like to install in uefi make sure you always switch off the legacy usb support okay once it's done then pretty much everything now if you'd like to change tpm settings then you can click here and as you can see by default, that is enabled, which is absolutely fine. So now we're going to click on boot option and check a couple of things. First of all, click on secure boot. From here, make sure the OS type you choose Windows UEFI mode. Those are the very important settings for UEFI USB boot. Once it click here, it's fine. It's going to be saved. Now, as you can see, the boot option one, two, three, four, five. Those are the priority list. OK, by the way, rest of the settings, it should be like that. OK, USB boot configuration. You don't have to touch anything. Now, as you can see, the boot option number three, that is my bootable USB thumb drive. And boot option one was Windows boot manager, which is the old Windows. OK, so because of we are trying to install it, we have to choose the fast boot priority option is your USB. Once you click here, it should be fine. And and that's all. Now we're going to save the changes and reset it. So click on save changes and reset. And here is the interesting things. It's going to show you whatever you changed. OK, so you don't have to have you don't have to be confused. You can see here we change a couple of settings, legacy USB disabled and uh, other OS type Windows UEFI. Once you click OK, it's going to restart and then it's going to give you the USB boot straight away. OK, so now it takes uh, sometimes a couple of minutes, could be more or less. It depends on how fast is your computer and how fast is your USB. Based on that, it's going to take maybe a minute or a couple of minutes. OK, so don't be confused if you see the boot logo stuck. OK. Definitely something is happening behind. So give it a time. It could be one, two, three, four minutes, whatever it is. See, four, five minutes. That would be worth it. Now, as you can see, something is spinning and it takes you directly to Windows setup page. So from here, it's pretty simple. Everybody knows what to do. Click next, install now. And the setup is starting now. We have to accept the terms and condition. And once we accept the terms and condition, then we have to format the drive to reinstall. OK, so accept it, hit next, custom. 
and here is the thing okay be careful if you delete anything you're going to lose your existing data so make sure you back it up first and then you um you can delete the partitions and stuff so here i have two drive one of them one tb nvme ssd another one is 3.5 inch SATA hard drive the confusion is both of them one tb and it shows exactly the same amount of space now i'm confused i don't know drive zero and drive one which one is ssd and which one is hard drive so what i done is manually i disconnected my 3.5 inch hard drive so i know this is the one is ssd where i would like to install the windows on it so i don't want any more partition i'm going to hit next and it's going to take directly to the actual setup is going to copy all the files and necessary folders into the c drive and then everything should be fine but i'm going to keep making this video until the end to see if the usb boot is successful correctly or not All right, so finally it's done and I can see the windows installed correctly. Remember, there are three settings only you need to change. One, legacy has to be disabled, secure boot has to be enabled, and then you need to choose the fast boot priority is your bootable Windows USB drive. Once you follow this process, you'd be successful Correctly, you can finish your setting. Still, if you do have any question, then leave it in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.